The binary search, otherwise known as the binary chop, is a very efficient way to search a large sorted list of data. This is how it works. Here I have a list. Notice that the data is in order. Our target is 63. We want to know if 63 is in the list. So we identify the middle and we ask the question, is 63 equal to the middle value? If the answer is no, we ask, is 63 less than the middle value? If the answer to this question is no, we know that the value we're looking for is in the top half of the list. So we discard the lower half. And then we do it again. We identify the middle value and ask the question, is the target equal to this? If the answer is no, we ask the question, is the target less than this value? If the answer is no, we discard the lower half. And we do it again. Identify the middle, in this case 85, and ask the question, is the target equal to 85? The answer is no. Is the target less than 85? Well, this time it is, so we're going to discard the top half of the list. One more time, we ask if the middle value is equal to 63. Now, if there's only two values left, it doesn't really matter which one you class as the middle. In this case, the answer is yes, so we've found what we're looking for. So how would you do that programmatically? Here's some pseudocode. Here's our array again, and our target is 63. The first thing we do is identify the lower and the upper bounds of the array, and we set a couple of pointers to these values. Now we get into a loop. I'll talk about the exit condition in just a moment. The first thing we do is add the high and low pointers together and divide by 2. This gives us the middle. And then we ask the question, is the target equal to the middle value? If the answer is no, we ask, is the target less than the middle value? In this case, the answer is no. So we're going to effectively discard the lower half of the list. And we do this by simply redefining the low pointer. The low pointer is now at where the middle was, plus 1. And then we continue back to the top of the loop. And we do the same thing again. We calculate the middle by taking the low plus the high and dividing by 2. We ask, is the middle equal to the target? If not, we ask if the target is less than the middle. And if not, we effectively discard the lower half of the list by redefining the low pointer. Notice how the low pointer is approaching the high pointer. We return to the top of the loop. We ask, is the low pointer less than or equal to the high pointer? You can see they're coming together. Eventually, we'll find what we're looking for, or the low pointer will exceed the high pointer. So we haven't met the exit condition yet, so we do the same again. Calculate the mid value. Ask if it's equal to the target. Ask if it's less than the target. Now, in this case, it's slightly different. It is less than the target, so we're going to discard the top half of the list by redefining high and round the loop again. Low is still less than high, although it's getting close, so once again we calculate the middle. Now with only two elements left to consider, deciding which one is the middle really depends on how your program rounds the data. 17 plus 18 divided by 2 is 17.5, so the middle could be considered 17 or it could be considered 18, it doesn't really matter. In this case we're calling the middle item number 17. So once again, if the target is equal to the data in the middle of the portion of the array that we're considering, we know we found it. If not, we ask, is the target less than the data in the middle? In this case, the answer is no, so we redefine the low pointer. Notice how the low pointer and the high pointer now have the same value. To the top of the loop, we haven't met the exit condition just yet, we calculate the middle, well, this time the middle is the same as the low and the high. We ask, is it the target? And this time, the answer is yes. So we set a flag to true. Exit the loop, and the algorithm is complete. We can now perform an output depending on the value of that Boolean variable. To summarise then, the binary search, otherwise known as the binary chop, is what is known as a divide-and-conquer algorithm. 
were continuously chopping the data set in half and having to consider half as much data each time. It's crucial that the data is in order to begin with, otherwise the binary search won't work. Doubling the amount of data has little impact on the performance of this algorithm. If you think about it, if you go from 1 million to 2 million items of data, you only need to perform one more chop. And that means that we have a very efficient way of searching large sorted data sets.